How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel and back to Geo Detective. It's been a few weeks, hasn't it? Because I've been quite busy preparing and also filming adventures. So that is why things have been a little bit thin on the ground in terms of Geo Detective and Geo Guesser. Now that busyness is going to continue for three or four weeks um, as I film another adventure. Um, and the result of that is that I've had to Abandon my search for a certain Hugo Dudesworthy. I won't show him for long, in case some of you get tempted to try and find him. I've struggled a little bit with him, um, just as I did with Draco Dinkelberg um, in the previous episode. So I'm going straight down to our next culprit, Ian Clutterbuck, and hopefully the one after, Josh Jerry Janulus. Now these will make a, a good change from the urban settings because they're two mountainous pictures. So, and I'm looking forward to this because this is a case of going on Google Earth and using the terrain feature, just as I did in Yosemite National Park with Bananas Hippledick. You remembered, you remembered, good. How could you forget? Um, yeah, but that, but unlike that one, this one will be, well, these two, I believe, will be trickier, undoubtedly. I mean, I think this one's in Britain. It does have a British feel to it, Welsh or Scottish perhaps. So without any further ado, I'm going to start with Ian Clutterbuck uh, and his cheeky grin, which we can't really see. And hopefully we can add two green rectangles, two green blocks to this list and return to Hugo Dudesworthy at a later date when I'm less, when I've got more time basically, because it takes, not only does it take time, it takes a hell of a lot of effort. Uh, and willpower and I've just got too much big stuff going on at the moment so that's where we are oh and just before I start please don't send in any submissions I'm working my way through a list of a hundred initial photos that were sent in by my patrons and I have to do those first because it's not fair if I don't so thank you for sending in your submissions um, it has been amusing to, to view some of them but it is it is clutter booking up my inbox a bit Anyway, on to the task at hand. So, mountain, ridge, could it be Snowdon? I think that could be Snowdon, straight away, because we've got a lake down there. I think we've got a lake down there. It's an office quote, the good office, the British office. Um, but also what I'm noticing is this. <clears throat> in the This is interesting. In the reflection of Ian's uh, sunglasses, we can see what I think is a pinnacle. Just check that we are recording. Yes, we are. Um, you know, the pinnacle, the, the summit that you get on top of a mountain, there is another word for it, which escapes me, even though I've been to two recently. And another guy, another couple of people, actually, from two slightly, ever so slightly different angles. Um, yeah, two people sort of just kind of messing around in their backpack, maybe having a snack at the top of a mountain. I'm going to not waste any time and get into Google Earth and get to Snowdon because that's one of the places that I suspect that this is. I, it's not Ben Nevis because I climbed that very recently but it could be any large mountain in Britain but it's definitely, if it's in Britain which I'm confident that it is that there won't be too many bigger mountains than this so that's what's giving me hope in we go to Google Earth. So I am just going to go straight into Mount Snowdon, the tallest mountain in Wales. I've been up it twice. Is that it? No, that's Glider. It's down here, isn't it? So there it is, right? So there's Snowdon. Now, the lake that I was thinking that this could be is that one. I might be totally wrong. This is just my first thought you know so first of all let's have a look at some of these photos I just want to see if that summit is on there in fact we might even be able to put a man down no no we can't Snowden Peak look right that's interesting yeah it's not the same shape that we thought so I'm just gonna get a good sort of stance here it's a bit awkward And let's have a look at the photo. 
Not sure. Not sure. No, I don't. No, I don't think it is. I don't think that's quite right. And it ties in with the with the the pinnacle. Right. So Snowden is a no. Um, okay. Okay. Where do I go next from Snowden? Because that's such a famous mountain in North Wales. Here's the gliders. These are pretty damn big. That's actually, that's put me, that's set me back a bit, that has. I think this could be a lot harder than I think because if this is some random mountain in Scotland, then it really does become a big search. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does it become a big search? No, it can't be that. No, it's not that. Could it be Kadir Idris? Let's go to Kadir Idris, which is another famous mountain in Wales. That has a lake. Not that side. This side looks good, but it's the other way round. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a matter of searching now. Uh, in Snowdonia first, I'm gonna I'm gonna scour Snowdonia because I'm dreading the thought that it is Scotland. But basically, what I'm going to be looking for is this sort of arrangement, a bowl-like high up valley, I don't know the name for it exactly, with a lake down there. And yeah, just everything else that matches, Mount, like rolling hills in the background, and obviously the shape of the ridge and everything else, and hopefully a summit, because that is a summit monument, or whatever you call them. So here we go, um, I'll probably speed this up and anytime I find something interesting, I will let you know. No, that's not dramatic enough. Um, so I'm starting to think we're in Scotland now based on the diminishing chances that it is Snowdonia. Yeah, I, I think we're... I think we're already done in Snowdonia. Okay, first thing I'm going to do then is before I start searching in Scotland, which I'm, I'm willing to do. Um, by the way, for those of you who don't know, there's a railway track that goes up this mountain. Can you believe that? A tourist sort of very slow railway track, which is mad really but I've never actually used it I'm hardcore you know I just like to sprint up really um, no but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find out what the that thing is on the top of a mountain because someone messaged me or commented on on my, one of my patreon posts the other day and they had a special word for it in fact I'm gonna go on patreon and find out what it is but I won't show you that trig point okay Right, a trig point, a trigonometrical point. Not necessarily found on the top of a mountain. Yeah, okay, generally, yeah, I think that's, a, that's the name for it, I think. And that is what we see, I think, in this picture. I wonder if this could be in the Lake District. I've, I've ruled... I haven't ruled it out at all, but I haven't considered it. So I'm going to go to the Lake District because Scotland, I mean, whatever we've got here in Snowdonia, we can kind of times it by 10 or 15, really, for Scotland. The Lake District isn't even, I mean, there's going to be a handful of, of places it could be. Scarfell is the biggest mountain in the Lake District and England, but there's no lake. That's a tricky mountain to climb as well, by the way. Um, and I, do, I think that's, I don't think, okay, maybe Helvellyn, yeah, maybe Helvellyn. That's the only other one it could be. How, like, how accurate is this, you know, this stuff? Presumably pretty accurate, and, and if so, we're probably not here, because the main problem with this is, 
we're not on a summit here. And Ian is on a summit. No, off we go to Scotland, folks. Here we go. Where do we start? Um, I think up here is a good place to start. These are where most of the big mountains are, but of course we've got the Cairngorms, we've got a few other places too, definitely. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't think I was even close with timesing it by 10. I think we're timesing Snowdonia by sort of 20, 25 here. So it's gonna take a while to find it. And of course, there is this slim chance that we're not in Britain. It just looks very much like Britain. Could be Ireland, could be Ireland. But I'm saying, I'm, I'm gonna guess now that this is Scotland. I'm 90% sure. So here's Ben Nevis. Went up it the other day and it was a beast, but no lakes there. I'm gonna try and minimize the time spent searching by just having a quick zoom in to all the biggest sort of massives, massifs, and looking for that lake, looking for the bowl with the lake. So already, the biggest mountain range, the tallest mountain range, which is this, um, I've ruled out. It's clearly not there because there's no, wait, there is a, there was a lake though. <laughs> um, I remember it but it's there, it's further down, so yeah. Okay, so I'll move to the Cairngorms now. Here they are, some big ones here. There is this. There's a little lock, but it's not that. Okay, Cairngorms, I'm not getting amazing results. I don't have any luck here, which will be disappointing. I've got a couple of little Google ideas that I can use. But at the moment, I'm looking at these and thinking, ah, Ben Lawyers, what about that? No, clearly not. Good, we can move on. It's gonna be hard to remember exactly where we've searched here. I'm gonna move, I'm just gonna move around up the west coast of Scotland, you can tell it's none of them. It's gotta be ragged, ragged ass mountains with a lake, so it shouldn't take me. I can move through these quickly. I'm gonna speed it up again for you guys. Similar, that is similar, I have to say. But I think that lake is too small, that lake there. And we are right in the middle of nowhere here, up in Sc uh, very far reaches of, far north reaches of Scotland. Um, so I'm not holding too much hope. But I can't, I have got Ireland. Am I doing the same thing that I did in last week's epi last episode? Um, where I disregarded Ireland for far too long. Is that what I'm doing here? Quite possibly. In fact, I've got an idea. You know, I'd say there's an increased chance that Ian here has this photo taken because it's a, a, a mountain of note, um, an achievement to get up this mountain. So that increases the odds that it's the tallest mountain in Ireland, for example rather than some random, obscure mountain in the far northern reaches of Scotland. So, tallest mountains in Ireland. See, look at that. Mangerton Mountain. These are bigger than I thought. So I'm gonna put them in on Google Earth and just pick them off one by one because there's no way that this mountain here is not in the top 10 or even five tallest mountains in Ireland. So let's get Ireland out the way and then we'll go back to Scotland. Try and streamline the process. Right, so here we are at the tallest mountain in Ireland. We do, ah, it's a beast, isn't it? Yeah, it's a beast. We do have some lakes. Loving that, that's a really cool mountain. But, don't think that quite adds up. No, it doesn't. 
I'm fairly sure. So next. Oh, it's just over here. Okay. It's in the same kind of massive then. What about this? No, it can't be that, can it? Can't be that because we've got nothing over here. These don't particularly look suitable. They look too rolling, not dramatic enough. So I'm going to jump, perhaps impatiently, straight to Mangerton Mountain because that's just... It's just beckoning me there with that, with that bowl. We need the bowls. Here we go. Mangerton Mountain. Now this is far away. That's not that far. Just doing a fancy spin. Okay. Devil's Punch Bowl. Hmm. Some big mountains down here, aren't there? However, I don't think that this is the one. Despite the Devil's Punch Bowl. Okay, I am going back to Scotland. I'm leaving Ireland for a little while. And yeah, my search continues in Scotland. Um, I'll speed it up because you know the drill by now. I'm just looking for that perfect set of features that match. I think so far the closest thing I've found is Snowdon, bizarrely. So yeah, here I go again, trying to find something better. Swear to God, this better not be in Norway. <laughs> okay. Okay, now what? Now what? I wonder... <laughs> I'm looking at this one again, Penny Gader, aka Kadir Idris. Don't know why it's got two names. Um, and it it does match quite a bit. It's just that it's the wrong way round. It's the other way round. I'm gonna pursue this avenue because it's the best thing I've found. It's just that why would this guy have reversed the image? Maybe to make it harder for me. But what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to have a... Yeah, it looks good. I'm, I'm going to reverse this image on iPicky. And I'm going to have a look at the shadows. So I'm going to open this. Okay. Now all of a sudden... That makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? So I've got a photo of the, um, the summit here. And that's what it looks like. Could that feasibly be that yes is the answer um, okay so the shadows then the shadows the Sun looks to be I would say over here somewhere which would be generally in the south so that <laughs> that also adds up so the Sun coming from that sort of direction yeah and it rises in the east and sets in the west and I'd say you're more likely to get up there up the mountain at sort of 10 11 a.m. just to be safe right this is all this isn't damning evidence but it's it all kind of adds up that all the probabilities are stacking up so how can I prove this then what's what's the next step so <laughs> I hope I'm right I really do because I've got nothing better it's, I'm not going to just guess this. I've got to be... Okay, okay. So, let's get the best view that we can from the summit. So, it'll be there. And remember, we can only see a bit of the lake. So, you're talking like that, right? Now, I need to use eye picky here. The flipped version. Right, in the distance then. What's in the distance? We've got this kind of bulge here which is in line with the summit of this ridge 
What could that be? Could that be that? That bit there? Or is it just simply that? Well, there's one there and then there's one behind it. Which, yeah, there is. There's one there and then there's one behind it. And that, right, I'm looking at that, the shape of that. Can you see it there? Or do I need to go like that? Yeah. Look. Are you telling me that that is not that? And then you've got this in front of it. This is from the photo. This is on Google Earth. Look at that. I think this is correct. It's actually something like that. That is perfect. That is perfect. What I'm going to do now is just to nail this, because I think this is correct. I just can't believe that Ian has had the audacity to flip this image. Um, but... Hey, that is fair game. Yeah, I'm going to draw a line from that summit across here over this peak and just see if it definitely correlates with what we have. But if Ian is stood in front of that trig, which the trig will be there, so Ian would be around there, the sort of middle of that to the summit. Because Ian is standing next to the summit, in front of the summit, right? And that is the summit right there. And on the image, we've got the peak, we've got that, and we've got that. Is it slightly to the right of that middle one where it's petering off a bit, tapering off? Yeah, it is. So I am 99 I wouldn't like to put a percentage on it, to be honest, but I'm 99.5% sure that this is correct. Uh, so I'm going to put my marker down, Ian. You tried to fool me with the reverse image, but it's just not enough, sir. It's just not enough. I'm going to put the marker down. How many yards in front is Ian from that? Well, it's starting to decline. This is just nitty gritty now. It's already declining. But where he's taken it, yeah, I would say about there. In fact, he's a bit over here. He's a, he's a bit over here. And he can see, you know what I mean. It's, I'm drawing a triangle in my head. So he's over to the left, right? Right? So I'm going to go about there, Ian. And you will not fool me today, sir. I'm going to put it down there. It's hard to tell exactly where he is, uh, but I think that'll be 25 metres accurate. Uh, so I'm going to write your name down, Ian. You con man, you. Ian Clutterbuck. Yeah, I think that's a job done. I will await Ian's response eagerly. I'll email him the, uh, the coordinates of that. And actually, thinking about it, guys, because of how strapped I am for time at the minute, this will be the video, because to be honest, that took me longer than I thought it would. I will move on to the next photo sent in by Josh Jerry Janulus and put that in the next episode. Uh, just to give you a bit more content, because it won't be quite so um, condensedly edited. And just to spread the videos out a bit. So I hope that's alright. I will tackle Josh's photo next week. And hopefully you enjoyed me successfully, we hope, locating Ian Clutterbuck's mountainous British snap. Thanks for watching. I need some food now. Have a good weekend, everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.